unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Errol Spence being hated on for a potential, get this, potential fight with Keith Thurman. Wow. Let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you come in, SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. Now, I had to make this follow-up video. I'm seeing a lot of hate, and the funny thing is, Errol Spence just took to his social media, and he announced that he, at this moment, was on a plane and doesn't even have an announcement because he doesn't know exactly who he's fighting next basically because he was blindsided by terence crawford right showtime has confirmed this make sure you guys like and subscribe hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing steven espinoza says they were single-mindedly focused on making a fight with terence crawford and errol spence that for obvious reasons is not the case if you live under a rock basically crawford had other plans he was behind their back working with a different company unbeknownst to pbc and he announced through espn that he was moving on to what he believes is greener pastures and moving on from the errol spence negotiations now i've talked about and touched on this subject I feel this was in very poor taste of Terrence Crawford, not even just what he did, but how he did it. I think the method that he used to try to set something up for himself, it just could have been handled a lot better. For example, you didn't have to go into details about the opponent and what company, but you certainly could have let PBC and the people you were dealing with, if you were dealing, if you were truly dealing in good faith you could have let those people know hey i'm working on something else if we don't wrap this up by friday then i'm moving on to another option because i firmly believe two massive fights with errol spence and terence crawford and then the javante davis and ryan garcia fight which that one actually got agreed to and we should get that in 2023 but they're going through interim fights but trying to juggle two big fights towards the end of the year and going through the preliminaries and the negotiations and crossing your t's and dotting your i's i truly believe that was a hindrance to pbc and it prevented them from really going forth with a schedule and that's why for the fourth quarter you didn't really see many fights come out from pbc and the fight that did come out with like Frank Martin and Michelle Revere, which is an amazing fight. Also, that's an Errol Spence fighter in Frank Martin. But that came out after it was known that Terrence Crawford was moving on in a different direction. So he basically held up the, the budget and I don't think he too much cares, you know, and I think that's a bad look. His team has been on record, done videos and said we left Errol Spence in the dust. So that's what Terrence Crawford, his situation is. Fight David Avocado on an app that nobody has. You know, at the moment, they only got like 51 reviews on iOS. And enjoy yourself. Now, that leaves Errol Spence without a dance partner. That dance partner could be Keith Thurman. And I say could be because I told you, we're getting into an echelon and an era of boxing where you guys could believe whatever you want. I tell you, if I don't have, if I haven't done any like digging around and confirm sources and stuff like that, then I'll let you know that. If I have good authority or good word that a fight's happening, then I'll let you know that as well. But that's me. And that's why you guys are listening to this video and subscribe to my channel. Not everyone plays by the same sets of rules. And there's YouTube. I know I made this popular. You know, talking boxing in the digital space. And with that, you got people who are putting out videos and they don't have the facts straight. You know, there'll be misinformation, bad information, non-reliable information. It's not just here on YouTube. It's everywhere. Twitter. You go to boxing Twitter. You see it on Instagram. 
And, you know, you guys can believe me. You don't have to believe me. I'm just giving you my opinion and what I know. So if you come to my channel, just be prepared for that. So as far as Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman, I know some of you guys are scratching your head and they wondering, what does Boxing Ego think? I love it. I love the fight. I'm going to support the fight. I think it's tougher than people believe. Keith Thurman is an athletic guy, good footwork. He has ring IQ. He definitely has power, even though his name's one time and he hasn't really just knocked somebody out. But you look at Mario Barrios' face at the last fight that he had, his face, he looked like an avatar or something, right? So Keith Thurman, he's still a dangerous foe. The other thing is what makes a guy like Keith Thurman dangerous is one he's a former champion who has a good resume fought Danny Garcia's and Sean Porter's Errol is the missing link Errol or, or a Crawford fight he doesn't have those type of names so it makes Keith Thurman extremely dangerous based on the fact of a lot of people are writing him off so he comes to the equation if they do fight where no one is backing Keith Thurman outside of a handful of people so that just takes all the pressure off of that fighter like if everyone's saying oh you don't have no chance Errol's gonna knock you out you can't take a body shot then you're just expecting a former champion to just show up and when you set the bar that low in boxing then that's usually not a good thing because if the fight is more competitive than you thought you just set yourself up for a doozy you know you just set the bar extremely low like you're playing limbo and it's not really respectful or realistic to the fight Keith Thurman still a fighter been fighting all his life has power rest in peace to Ben Getty you know has worked with great trainers and you know been in big events and big fights but again I'm just going off of what I read some people are like oh Keith Thurman will get knocked out in the first round in an elite fight that's not even typically realistic unless we're talking about Deontay the bronze bummer wilder from <laughs> Tuscaloosa Alabama because he has freakish power where if anybody in boxing can knock someone out in the first round it's wilder or Archer better be or somebody like that you know so Errol Spence is definitely a puncher definitely hits hard and you see it's the culmination of his shots and vicious punch variety and combination punching inside work uppercuts hook right cross left hook you know and it just he ends up beating the sh out of his opponents but it's it's an accumulation beatdown so i'm into it i'm anxious the other thing that i find very ironic the lakers beat the supersonics no i'm just playing but the thing i find is ironic is i can tell that people have hate in their heart because of the following reasons that i'm about to give Terrence Crawford goes AWOL when everyone in boxing thought we were closer than ever to getting Errol Spence versus Crawford and just peep it. You don't have to just all I ask is for a fair trial, a fair shake, hear what I'm saying, and then tell me if it makes sense. Some of the same people who had no problem with Terrence Crawford leaving the Spence negotiations to fight David Adolescent, some of those same people are hating on the premise of Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman. Mind you, Errol never even said he's fighting Keith Thurman. In actuality, he said the opposite. He said, I'll never fight Keith Thurman. So things change. So it's possible. It got ordered also for the WBA, I believe, ordered him or the WBC ordered him to fight. So it could change. But I'm just going off of there's a lot of speculation, video surfacing of Keith Thurman working out and stuff like that. So the speculation is Errol could possibly fight Errol Spence. And you already have people hating that defended Terrence Crawford for picking David Adolescents, knowing we thought we were going to get the, the Errol Spence and Crawford fight. So that's just ironic to me because, again, we wouldn't even have to be talking about Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman or Stanny Onis or anybody else if Terrence Crawford stayed the course and stayed like in line I could even respect it if Terrence Crawford said I need a tune-up and he was just straight up front about it say Errol's a beast you know I'm not going straight into that fight I haven't fought since the Porter fight in November I'm not going straight into a super fight 
PBC, give me a tune-up fight. How much can you pay me for a tune-up fight? And then I'll do a multi-fight deal with you guys. Barring that I get past that opponent, right? Then me and Arrow will scrap next. This is what I predicted. And ironically, after I had already made this prediction, because I've said that in my past work, Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis basically took that same type of concept in hierarchy and they applied it because we now know that Gervonta Davis is fighting Hector Luis Garcia January 7th and then later after he beats him if he beats him he's going to fight Ryan Garcia Crawford if he was really about it and really wanted to establish a working relationship with PBC who seems to have the best and biggest fights for him at 147 and the next division up at 154, which I also predicted for several years, then you, it seems like you would have had better good faith management and negotiations. And again, you could have taken a tune up if you absolutely had to, you could have done that and done it on PBC, like see if they'll pay for the David Avenesian fight or put you in with Sergey Lipinitz or whoever, you know, whoever you think that person is. PBC got a lot of guys, Cody Crowley or somebody, right? But that's not what he did. Secondly, I remember there was an earlier previous, we'll say rumor that suggested that this is how I could tell people are hating, but the rumor suggested or the, the news that was cycling at the time suggested that if Errol Spence didn't fight against Crawford, Crawford may take a tune-up with Keith Thurman. And you've seen a lot of the same people hating on the prospect, again, not confirmed by Errol, but hating on the prospect of Errol Spence fighting Keith Thurman. They were okay with Terrence Crawford fighting Keith Thurman when that was the rumor going on earlier this year. People were saying that, oh, Terrence Crawford, if he can't negotiate and come to terms with Errol Spence, he would fight Keith Thurman. So just like Errol Spence says, tables turn. And it's funny to see the tables turn. Now that Errol Spence, in lieu of Crawford leaving to fight David Adolescence, right? In lieu of that happening, now the tables turn to Errol Spence may fight Keith Thurman. He's ordered to fight Keith Thurman in order to keep all his belts intact. Now the same people who were okay with Crawford and Avenesian happening and justifying how tough Avenesian is, even though he lost to a guy that Crawford already beat by stoppage, which was Idris Kavalaskis' mean machine, green lean machine or whatever his name is, right? Some of the same people were the same ones when it was a rumor that Crawford would be fighting Thurman and they were geeked up and happy to see it. So the double standards are uncanny. The double standards are very apparent. And this is why I implore you guys to just watch the information you take in. And you as boxing fans should really question it. How can people, when not much has changed, be okay with Crawford fighting against Keith Thurman? But then when Errol was fighting Ugas coming off the Pacquiao performance, a lot of the Crawford bud buddies, they tried to belittle that fight and insult the fight and say that Ugas was trash and things like that. Even though Ugas beat Crawford in the amateurs and he's considered by many a better fighter than David Avenesian. And again, when Crawford was the guy rumored to potentially fight Keith Thurman as a backup if the Errol Spence fight didn't work out. People were up and at it. They were they were jumping up for joy. But Errol Spence, he's done so much heavy lifting. Now he's held to a crazier standard than Crawford is. How come Crawford hasn't had to clean up no side of the street, hasn't had anyone as a welterweight, the echelon of the people that Errol Spence has fought, he hasn't fought no one like a Keith Thurman and Errol Spence, even if he does take this fight, some people are going to hate, but the real are going to recognize that this is still a bigger and better fight than David Avenesian. David Avenesian is ranked lower. He's ranked in three of the four sanctioning bodies. Keith Thurman is ranked in all four. And on every sanctioning body, Keith Thurman is rated higher than David Avenesian. Look it up. Let me know how I did in this video. We unpack. And I'm out introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows 
you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators hopefully you guys enjoy the content super thanks the future is now the hibernation fives by kanichi beer hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc bluetooth ready with a low latency usb adapter color rgb and extreme bass mode the hibernation fives adjust to you whether you need a gaming travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.